Hi guys, welcome to another interesting video course on Millionaire by 25. Hope you're doing great. Today, I will be showing you how to create a gig image that could get clicked. Like a clickable gig image. Now, a lot of people have issues with this. So, maybe you create a gig and you don't have an attractive image for that will attract someone to click you know and as a result of that a lot of people just scroll past your gig don't forget to like subscribe click on the notification bell icon to get notified whenever we drop a video i will be showing you how to get a clickable gig image but that will be right after the intro before you talk about creating uh, a fiverr gig image uh let me show you first of all let, let's take for instance uh okay, let's use wordpress let's look at gigs of people and the kind of image they have now you can see this this is an image this is an image this is an image that is attached to your gig you can see this you can see this if we should uh look at uh let's say ai services let's say the kind of uh, gig image they have you can see you can see so there are so many so many kinds of uh kind of image you can use for your gig and get clicks and when someone clicks takes a look at your image alongside with your description the person would want to click on it now this is very simple like we've talked about canva before now and uh, i know you may not be new to canva but for those of you who are new to canva i would like to show you how to use canva to create an image gig now before that we have to know uh the image size that fiverr accept because if you actually don't use the main uh the, the proper image resolution that fiverr accepts then you would not be able to pass the proper message it won't give you exactly what you uh, created so let's say fiverr uh gig image size okay just so what are we seeing here let's say minimum size is uh 712 times 430 else we have uh 1280 times that's recommended image size uh 1280 times 769 right okay let's take a look at this one so it's confirmed that is 120 times 769 all right so we come down here to uh canva what all you do is first of all you have to be signed in you come to create and then come down to custom size so what do you have what was that we got Okay, 1280 769. So we already have this if you're creating from scratch now you can decide to let's say you are creating a gig to translate um, languages let's say uh, English to French so let's say English to French Uh, let's go for image images 
so you can see images like this you can see images like this okay and you have things like this you can decide to go on png images if you want to let's say we're taking this okay so this is actually a png image meaning that it doesn't come with a background so we'll save image as uh let's say trans let's save it on desktop you can see already it's a png image but if you don't have a png image you can always come down here and type png you know and search and you get a lot of them you can see all right so we come down here and you come down to uploads upload a file go to desktop where you had the image downloaded let's say we call it trans right t t t okay that's it you let it load when it's done loading you double click and you have it here but you can decide to let's take this out first oh sorry we actually removed let's undo first of all all right we can decide to bring in a color let's use this color we need to use a bright color but when you have a sharp or bright color it attracts people to it so we come down here to upload and we can now expand and you can decide to make it a bit less sharp but make it a bit transparent or well you could leave it like this depends on what you want to do I'm just creating something random not really and then you can decide to have your text come here to texts add heading and you can say you can use I will translates 1000 words in 24 hours um, let's say for ten dollars okay and you can move it up let's say we want to change this color from black to yellow something a bit okay okay and you can move this here you can decide to bring in another box so you can always come here to elements and you know bring in a box 
something that will size in, fit in. You can decide to move it to back. Uh, position. Backward. So you have this, you can also go backward again. Look at it. So let's make this a bit transparent. This is just a rough work. Okay. We can take this one and position it back. And probably increase the transparency back. and you have something like this so when you're done like this is just um, a sample like I said it's not something on a professional level you can come to position sorry I mean to say uh, transparency make it a bit transparent and when you're done, you can come here, come to share, come to download, and you can decide to download probably using PNG or you want to use uh, JPG, whichever one you want to use. It's, it's not a problem. Come down here and click on download. And it downloads. And when it's done, you can view it and that's it. So you can do better than this, okay? By creating something quite attractive, something that someone would take a look at and would want to click on your work your gig and probably patronize you it has to do with you getting the right uh font using the right font don't use fonts that uh the c, uh, your letter c is looking like letter g you make it bold most times you can decide uh to use just just text alone or yeah something of this nature uh, let's see we're taking this one off and we're actually making this transparent we're making this very large can decide to change this to white for a better white make it stand out Okay. So you can see, as simple as this, let's say you're a graphics designer, even if you've not been contracted to do a job, you can just do something. Just imagine someone gave you a job, a task, design something do something very nice and use that design as your gig image 
you must not wait you, ju you just don't need to okay you don't need to wait for someone to contract you to do a graphics work uh, uh, a design for him before creating one you can create one for yourself and then put it out there if you're a voiceover artist you can always create an image that someone takes a look at it and the person understands that yeah this person is a voiceover artist you can decide to do a video one thing you need to know on uh, canva is you can animate you can animate you can do a series of and when you save it it comes in as a video you can see so you can do a lot with your canva and have a clickable image for your gig but don't forget to like subscribe click on the notification bell icon so you get notified whenever we drop a video thank you so much see you in the next video course